Over to Garrett we go. Tough chugging for the Railroaders a season ago. Garrett finished just two and eight. Second time in Chris DePew's seven seasons his Railroaders have finished below 500. Last year, a definite reality check for Garrett, but they've since regrouped and they're ready to prove last season was a fluke. The last year we hope was an, an anomaly. Uh, it's it's uh, not our typical year. Going two and eight last year, that was pretty embarrassing. Sometimes the lumps are uh, are a, gr a great way to learn. You know, sometimes uh, programs will take one step back so they can take two forward, and we don't ever want it to be that way. But I'm hoping the last year uh, will turn into that for us. We're not a bad team, even even though our record may have showed it last year. Like we've been good a pretty good team our whole lives. We're all ready to come back and show everybody what we uh, learned from last year and a lot of the um, uh, mistakes we made, we uh, looked at them and we're going to improve from going into this season. We have a town to represent that uh, is blue collar oriented and uh, you know, that, that matters to us. You know, that's a tradition we have more than 100 years of Garrett football and it's our job to carry that torch and, and keep the program strong and, and respected and uh, so that one day when it's not ours anymore, the next people are able to, to uh, inherit something that is as special as we feel like it is right now. Loving that visor from Chris DePew. Visor game strong. Railroaders will open their season on the 23rd at Prairie Heights.